<coughs> Hi friends, I hope you are all doing well. I am also fine. So today I am going to show you how you can uh, verify your domain in ACS. So ACS is simple email service from AWS, which helps you to send email uh, very uh, reliably to the uh, mailbox without any uh, issue with uh, like spam folder or etc. So it is a really trusted uh, email uh, sender and uh, it has a quite high capacity. So you could receive up to 50,000 emails per day. That is the limit that you get. You can get more if you have. So it is quite outstanding. So to use ACS, you need to have a domain that needs to be verified in ACS. So I'm going to show you the ACS domain verification process. In 2022, they have uh, launched a new UI, which is slightly different from the old one. So let me show you how you can do that. So I have a domain that is uh, article.xyz. This domain I wanted to verify in ACS so that I can send emails via this domain. And for that reason, I am going to go to my SES account. So I am in my SES dashboard. And into the dashboard, I will create the create identity section. Here, I will see two options, domain and email address. So I'm going to choose domain. Then I'm going to give the domain name. So the domain name is article.xyz. Then we have two options, assign a default configuration set, use a custom mail from domain. So I will untick these two because that's not really uh, needed. Then um, DKIM signatures, I don't need, but I will use the easy DKIM. So your identity is it is created. Once your identity is created, you will get three CNAME records, which you have to add into your DNS. So I'm going to copy this CNAME records and I'm going to go here, go to my DNS and I'm going to create a new record here. So from this dropdown, I will choose CNAME. I will paste the values and I'm going to uh, paste the value here. Field type I have selected previously. Then I'm going to choose the value and I will stop the proxy. Then click save. Similarly, I will copy the field type again. Click add, type CNN, paste the value, and then uh, copy the value again. Target. Similarly, click CNN, add record, name is required, and So the DNS information I have added here. These DNS propagation takes some time, so I have to wait uh usually 10 or 15 minutes sometimes it's faster so let me refresh the screen and let's see what's happening here it is still pending so uh, dns records change is not still uh, propagated yet there are some third party tools where i can check it like mx toolbox so you go to your next toolbox and then give your name. It should give you the correct value. So I'm going to check the. Um, okay, this is not MX lookup. I'm going to check CNN. So in this drop down, there should be someone for CNN, right? There is the CNN. Yeah, here it is. So I'm going to choose the CNN and then yes. 
so the information is passed here and it should be okay now let's try to refresh it yes the identity status is now verified and the digging status is also verified so uh my dns change is verified and now i should be able to send email using this uh, domain so let me try to see can i test one email send test email yeah, here it is so uh, let's say info scenario Two address, so let me send it in a different email address. Yes, yes, yes. Configuring is optional. Let me try. Let's see if I can send this in. So, um, let me go back. Let me Pause the video for a bit. Okay, so uh, here is my inbox, and in the inbox, I see that there is an email from AWS and some SES. It is showing that the from address is info at article.xyz because there is the from address and this is the message. So, uh, this is an example where I have shown you how you can uh, verify your domain and use it for sending out emails. You can send out your emails from custom applications like WordPress, Magento, or even custom your uh, Node.js application. You can send email using the API from ACS. So thank you guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I will be happy to help you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.